Hey everyone, Kevin from Selectbound here to do a first play of Hue, new title coming out on August 30th for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. It will be coming to PlayStation Vita sometime in September, they don't have really a firm date. Uh, the developers are Fiddlesticks, uh, being published by Curve Digital. As you can tell by that title screen, you're going to see a lot of shifting colors and by the name itself, Hugh, which is also the name of the boy here, as he's in the search for his mother who's gone missing. Uh, he keeps finding these notes to kind of lead him along the way to discover that his mom's kind of been doing some experiments with colors and then found out she has gone missing, kind of going into a impossible color spectrum. The whole world of Hugh and you start the game is this gray overtone, monotone environments. Everything's gray, black colors. As you find these different colors, there's eight of them, to fill out the coloring, uh, the world just kind of comes to life. You can see here, if you choose one of the colors, so I chose the purple one, it actually disappears any objects with that color, allowing this orange piece to fall down. If I were to choose orange, I can go through it as well. So it's a puzzle platformer. Most of the puzzles uh, will only really require you to get the key, open the door. Some of them won't even require that much. It's really just to get to the door and move on. So to get to this door, I mean, I guess I don't need to. I could do this. I could also move the orange block over to kind of create a staircase. Uh, it looks like the doorway is blue, so I'll need to switch colors. One thing you should note when you're going through a puzzle is it'll start you in a certain color. It may hide something very uh, integral to the solving the puzzle, so you may want to switch the color right away, just kind of see what's going on. So what I need to do is be able to jump across, but if I choose orange, won't be able to land on anything, so I need to mix these up. Move this one here. And we'll move this one here. The orange one even lining up with anything? Nope. Okay, that should work. I'm gonna turn orange off. Mid jump, switch this. You can ooh, I chose the wrong color. Let's try that again. Orange. Okay, when you go, when you hide, for some reason I keep choosing purple. Oh, can't get my colors right. And then purple. So when you highlight or open up the color wheel or color ring, whatever you want to call it, uh, things, the action slows down. So it comes to a crawl allowing you to do things in the air and very precise, oh god. And if you're not precise, that's exactly what happens. So we're gonna try and avoid that. Brush here. Making sure we're choosing the right colors. Otherwise we got these spikes. Ooh, that would have been bad. Uh, this is a pretty long one. There are no checkpoints, so if I screw up here, uh, I will need to start over from the beginning. Uh, beginning of this puzzle, not the series of puzzles for each color. So you'll go through the game collecting all eight of the colors to fill out the coloring, and they have their own different, different types of puzzles that you'll find. Uh, more advanced ones in the end will have things like lasers and splashing colors that will uh, change any box that comes in contact with it to a different color. Uh oh. Okay, so I need to get over here. Hit purple, we're dead. So let's go blue again. Okay, we're gonna go orange. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this box over to that little alcove. 
I'm gonna go blue. Then I'm gonna time this jump. Perfect. You can't switch colors if you're behind something that has a color. So I'll need to move out of that. Okay, and to be on the safe side, let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. A lot of the objects in the background are interactive. Uh, really, you just smack into them. Things like la uh, lance, uh, lanterns, chains. Skeletons, I guess. Okay. Orange. This here is going to symbolize that we're getting a new color. I'm not sure how many puzzles was that. Maybe maybe five, five or six, perhaps, uh, for each of the colors that you collect. So maybe 40 or 50 puzzles in the game. Uh, I didn't count. Is it magenta, bright pink. Uh, maybe I'll do one or two, maybe three of these new puzzles. I don't want to show off too much and give it away. What you will find is these notes it's fine. from your mom. I don't remember much after that day on the grass. It kind of briefly goes through I the storyline about the perception of reality and what it means for these colors and maybe everyone in the world knows the sky is blue, but maybe everyone just sees gray and just different shades of gray. This work we were doing together, it, it didn't feel much like work anymore. Uh, so this one's a yellow. These beakers, there are 28 for you to collect. You can collect a good handful, maybe a bit more on your first playthrough, but you'll need to run through the game a second time to collect them all. Because you see there, it needs the yellow color and we don't have the yellow color. So after you beat the game, you can just kind of warp around the map to the different puzzle sections and it gives you an idea of, you know, I have one of four in this waterfall area of the beakers to collect. I don't think there's anything tied to it besides getting a trophy. I don't think they give any additional story elements. Maybe we'll finish this puzzle up. This is a little complex. Okay, so we're going to drop the blue box. Let's go on the other side so we can push it. get over here and get that box. We'll grab this one and I'll bring it through the gap and it should allow us to grab the new ooh, pink colored box. And we'll need this one to get the key. to that side. I always jump up the ladders, it's kind of a habit just to make things go quicker. I don't really always pay attention to those spikes on top, which will end your run. Okay, so we're gonna 
push it this way? No. You have to be on the other side of it. Don't we? Okay, so we turn off Aqua. Jump up. Get the key. Now we don't need to do anything else. Well, this one wasn't actually so bad. I didn't find any of the puzzles uh, excruciating challenging, excruciating challenging, or hard or difficult. I uh, probably spent maybe a half hour at most on a single puzzle that, that stumped me. And I found just taking a break from the game was probably the best idea. Uh, as you know, instantly the first, you know, the first time out when I came back, I solved it. Okay, so we're gonna have to jump. I would like uh, jump to be on like one of the shoulder buttons. So that's a complaint I had with the game. So you use X to jump and the right stick to pull up the color wheel. Uh, at times, I feel like it would be a little bit more precise if I was able to use the shoulder button instead of taking my finger off. I uh, can't go that way. Uh, off the right stick and kind of hitting the face buttons. Let's turn orange off and here we go. And blue. Back to the orange route. And purple. Door's probably down this way. Okay, so this will be the last puzzle. This is a good place to leave off. What we need to do is get that top square or crate. Both of those there. Turn on this color. Jumping is not a pressure sensitive. You're always going to jump this high. So you don't have to worry about lightly tapping the button or anything. guy this way. We'll use him as the, the gap. There we go. Okay, so I think that's a good place to stop. I don't, like I said, I don't want to give away the solutions to, you know, half the puzzles in the game. That'll just be ridiculous. Uh, the game's pretty fun. I enjoyed the layout for the puzzles and definitely the style of the visuals. Um, I mean, it's it's a unique way to take on the game, uh, or take on the genre as you kind of have to keep mixing the puzzles. The, the later puzzles, probably the second half of the game, gets really complex and you have to do a lot of mid-air switches and back and forths and, you know, riding uh, skulls, you know, upwards after going, after jumping on top of them. So it, it, it does add a lot to the game. As I said, it comes out next week, next Tuesday, uh, $14.99 on all platforms. Uh, not yet on Vita, as that will be a later release.